Hey guys, and welcome to Tantrum House. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows. And today we're going to look at the game Baron Park. is a two to four player tile placement game from Mayfair Games. In the game, players are trying to build their own bear habitat using some Tetris type tiles. Uh, the player to build the best combination of tiles and escape, score the most points will win the game. To start the game, every player will receive their own park area with an entrance and then you will each be given a green area tile depending on the player order. On their turn, players get to place a tile, and whenever they place a tile, if they cover up an icon, they'll get to choose a new tile from that supply portion on the board. When you take your turn, you will first choose a tile to place on your board from your supply area. So you'll need to be strategic in making sure that you cover a, no, a new icon each turn so that you have something in your supply. If you fail to have anything or run out, then you must choose one of the green tiles which aren't worth any points. Every time a player is able to cover their entire board, they get to add a bear statue to the little circle empty spot that has been waiting for the bear statue. These are worth big points, so there's a lot of different strategies that you can use, whether you're uh, trying to fill your board as fast as you can, or strategically build it in with as many points as you can. One icon you'll need to pay attention to is the construction crew icon. When you've covered this, it allows you to add an additional area to your park and expand it. The game ends once one player has completely filled in four areas of the park. All right, so I think that covers the majority of the gameplay. Tell us what you think about the mechanic. The mechanic is very similar to the basic Tetris mechanic of fitting tiles together exactly. Uh, it's different from Castles of Mad King Ludwig or Alhambra where you're bidding or exchanging money for tiles. In Baron Park, you're simply filling an icon and then choosing from the supply. There is an expert variant though that gives you bonus victory points for making very specific arrangements of tiles. And this makes it much more difficult because most of the tiles out in the supply, there's only one of that shape. So if you have that, you're gonna to have to be the first one to be able to gain that shape and then be able to place it in your park in the correct configuration. Why don't you tell us about the theme? So the game is from Mayfair and it fits just right in there with all their normal stuff. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's anything spectacular. It's not bad. I like the typography for it. I'm not really a huge fan of the cover art. Uh, the actual component art is not bad. Like I think it's interesting for a tile placement game. It is kind of cool. There's like a little polar bear habitat and you know like the desert bear habitat. Uh, and it all kind of looks together. It looks good together on the board. It's nice and bright and fun. Uh, I think it fits okay with the genre of tile placement games. Um, the instructions were pretty straightforward, which were, you know, which is always nice. And uh, I think the components are fine. It comes with this like weirdo insert that I don't <laughs> understand, and I think there's been plenty of chatter about that. We don't even use it. It just this stuff just goes in the box and it's fine. Uh, nothing spectacular on theme, but I think it's okay. Tell us what you think about replayability. Uh, I think with the base game, uh, you could get a little bored with replayability unless you really love tile placement games like I do. I could play them for hours and never get bored, although I don't know that's the case for you as much. Uh, there are the expert variants which allow for a deeper strategy and gameplay involved, so I think that could uh, bring in more replayability for those who would get bored with a very simple tile placement. Why don't you tell us about enjoyability? Uh, so, yeah, I don't really know what you're talking about. I did enjoy it a lot. I thought it was interesting. I think one of the mechanics we didn't mention, but uh, is definitely in there, is that all the tiles are kind of in like uh, descending value order. So the first person to get to that tile is going to get the eight pointer, while the next person is going to get the seven and the six. Same with those bear statues, the big one, the first one to be able to finish a tile and grab that bear token is going to get 15. So I think there's plenty of like push for competitiveness in it, which I enjoyed a lot. Um, you do kind of you know spread it on this table and you're putting tiles all over the place so I think there's some like just enjoyment in selecting from the different pieces and putting it all out on the table um, yeah I, I enjoyed it a lot I think it's a, a solid game I, I'm not a huge tile placement fan but you know this fits up in that top I don't want to say echelon but it's uh it's, it's right up there with a lot of the other ones that are coming out right now so uh, I enjoyed it I she enjoyed it I think you'll enjoy it check it out Cajun Browns gives Baron Park 2 thumbs, thumbs up, up.